Hi everyone, this is Kathy Grosskirth with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple and today I'm switching gears a little bit. I want to talk a little bit about Write Tool for QuickBooks Online. In particular, I want to share with you my favorite feature, which is something that I, and there's a lot of things in Write Tool that I like, but this is my absolute favorite feature of Write Tool. And for those of you who do not know what Write Tool is, it is the Chrome plugin for QuickBooks Online that's created by Hector Garcia in partnership with Mark Corum. And so I'm going to show you in just a little bit what my favorite feature is and what pain point it solves. So before I actually get into this, I would love it if you haven't already done so, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with others. I primarily create content for accounting users, but anybody that finds value in any of the content that I share is welcome to be a part. My videos are designed to help you maximize your use of QuickBooks Online and Desktop. So to the extent that you want to maximize your usage of both platforms, I would love to have you join my ever-growing family. So with that said, as you can see, I'm in my Kathy Bookkeeping test file and I am actually in the Books Review tab here. Now let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Account Reconciliation tab here because Maybe I want to do some catch up on some account reconciliations in the file that I'm working on. I'm not actually going to do that, but just say for argument's sake, that's what we're going to do here. But I want to keep this books review tab open at the same time and bring up the reconciliation screen. Ordinarily, without the right tool in place, you would just have to right click on this tab and then duplicate. And as you can see, I am in the incognito window of Chrome. And okay, so here we are. I've duplicated that tab and let's say I wanted to go into the reconcile screen. And from here, I can actually go into, if I click on one of these, I think that takes you right to the reconcile screen. Yes, it does. Now the problem with this is that, okay, well, I see it, it, it actually did changed it and that's probably because I'm in right tool but ordinarily what would happen is that you would see the verify books uh, name on both tabs if you didn't have the right tool but you can see that that's over here on the on the right tool itself so that really doesn't help you with anything but I mean you have both tabs up but either way it, it's kind of clunky at best to have to duplicate and then have to go in and, and hunt and peck for that so I'm going to go ahead and exit out of that, bring us back to the books review tab here. So one of the main pain points that this right tool solves for me is, first of all, once you set up your favorites over here, which I went over in another video, and I'll try to remember to put the link in the description. And let's say I want to go to reconcile from here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and click on reconcile here. And what that does is that automatically opens up a brand new tab, leaving the verify books or the books review tab open. So that way it does rename the tab what it needs to name the tab. So that way you can see it, but you can also see it over here when you're under manage tabs and say, if you wanted to go ahead and open up even a third tab, say like maybe you wanted to open up the bank feeds in case you needed to toggle back and forth among the three tabs, you can go ahead and do that. And so as you can see now, I have all three tabs open. I have the Verify Books, which is the Books Review. I have the Reconcile screen open, and then I have the Banking tab open. And so uh, one thing I want, I want to mention is that these are part of what I believe is the, the free version. I'm actually using the Pro version, which has a few more bells and whistles in there. And, and one of the things I think that's even available in the free version is that you can go into the settings so it will automatically close this left navigation that gives you a little bit more screen real estate there. So that's why whenever I open a new tab, it, it closes that screen automatically. And now you can actually close this screen as well over here if you want to have a little bit more real estate. But anyway, that's basically all I had to share with you today. I hope you enjoy this video. Please, again, like and share the page with others. Subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again soon. Y'all have a wonderful week. Take care, everybody.